During the filming of this car, you'll notice that these lights aren't here for part of it. Well, I'm going to leave them there. They come with the car. That one, I took them off of. This one, to put on that one, I couldn't figure out how this side was the side that had the problem with the lights, and that side wasn't. It's because I'd removed them. So, you'll see it in the exterior review. It doesn't have those, but it does now. Thanks for watching. Here we go. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the exterior review of this Euro model 1978 Mercedes Benz 350 SLC. Now, when I got this car, it came with a death certificate. The old guy had passed away, and the family couldn't decide what to do with it, and it went to auction. And now I got it. 59,000 original miles. It's in great shape except for little scuffs and stuff here and there. You can see, obvious, a piece of trim is missing. And that's what this um, video is going to be about. <whistles> Look at them Euro bumpers. This video will be about what's wrong with it and stuff, because the car's for sale, and it needs someone. It's a, it's a light project. These cars are an absolute giveaway. You couldn't find... You couldn't find one of these rusty into the ground for the price you can buy one of these for. You can't find an old Chevelle for the price you can find one of these for. I mean, rusty, yucky, not running, and just, you know, worse condition. Big time. Running back in the day, a lot more than one of them for Chevelle. Now, a word about the lights. Auction knocked that sucker out. Sucks. And on the other ones, they were there. How can I prove that? I took them out and put them on that one. So I do have the SL for sale also. And, heck, I got another SL there, got a CE there, but they're coming up. They won't be on eBay for a while. This is the one we're dealing with, and this is an exterior review. That's a once around. Now we're going to do the whole looking at inside and stuff. It's got the old um, California sunlight, sun plates or whatever you want to call them, which are kind of cool, getting pretty rare. Rarer than the blue plates. They didn't have them as long. Okay, I'm going to show you any and all damage on this car. Starting kind of right here and we'll just go to the you know what before we go for damage let's go ahead and look at the underneath let's get this out of the way nice clean and you can see see that's all greasy and it come right off if you want to just scrub with a brush look at that my nail just takes that much off that easy and that's how this is too need some degreaser and SOS type pad or a Scotch Bright pad or whatever that it just all look would look beautiful. You got a patina on the thingies there, of course. Dual horn, baby. Look at this. I love seeing like this from the little old guys were taking care of them. It's in great shape. Um, not leaking all over the place or nothing. Let's go look at the other ones now. These tires on the front match the tires on the front. Does that make any sense? They're a Cooper Life Liner. And they got little titties on the side. And everything. Now, the back ones are a Pirelli P4000. They have not been replaced and would need it. They have a little bit of dry wash starting. Front ones, they look to be a really, really good tire. Lots of tread, hardly any use. Floor pans, great condition. Great condition. A little bit of work and a little bit of fix it up and paint it and this and that. This car would be absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome? Yeah, that. Oh no, there we go. And let me show you on the fuel pump. It needs work with the fuel delivery. And you can see the factory ones hanging here. We had this as a ground. And did a couple different things. We put a different fuel pump on it. And it's got a little bit of fuel delivery issue. Look at these wheel wells. Clean car. Okay. See me underneath? Let's just start from the front and go at it. Blenders are missing. Busted that light out somehow at the auction. And this, this is easier to replace, cheaper. 
got some chips, big time, on the paint. Not rusty or nothing, just got a patina on it. And it has a clear coat peel here. I'll show you this this evening also. And I'm sorry about my hands, they're dirty as can be. I work it on out here on these cars all day. We got a clear coat peel going on on the car. Wow. I don't know what that is. Now, this guy imported it and brought it into the country. A little split in the paint there or something. And it is patina on the hood. It's not rusted through, nothing like that. It's not all rusty. Um, same thing with the clear coat right in there. And I don't know if he had to repaint the front clip on it and color match it. Um, it looks to be about the same color. And I'll show you at nighttime too to where you can get a look. The point is it's going to need work and it's not going to need paint. It's not going to need any work. That's my point. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful metal. Okay. Going down the sides. It's not all dented and dinged up and damaged. It's set on the side you ordered after the guy died for a while and you're going to get stuff like this. I think it's 05 was the last registered year. It's 10 years. And um, we drain the fuel on some of these and work with them and tinker with them and it ends up being the fuel delivery at the front usually because somebody's tried to crank something through or it could be a clogged line. I don't know. This thing cranks like a dream though. And it'll run off a bottle. Ding, little ding, little ding. A couple little dings in here. <clears throat> a couple little dings in here. But look at this metal. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Seriously. And uh, this is, I believe, the most expensive one they made. Um, not nearly as popular as the SL, but also why I believe they're so undervalued. Ding there. Trim around your windows is in great shape. This little seal here is getting little wear marks over time around it. The inside of these, you gotta take them apart and redo them or just buy them. But you can see the paint peeling, and it's got glass on both sides. Light crackage in the top here. It's, it's shiny. It's nice. It's nice enough to put the lights in and drive around, that's for sure. Um, this will continue flaking. Guaranteed. Guarantee that. Nice chrome. All the trim. I'm telling you, look at this trim. Now it gets this older look on it at times, like it all does. But you gotta get shine the heck out of it. A couple cracks in the dash. I'll show you from out here. Not that serious, but they're there. And some pitting bubbly marks, which makes me believe that this has been painted. A um, couple cracks right here in this seal, but it doesn't leak all over the place or anything. Um, you can see that Euro cloth interior. Small crack in that tail light. Now these are the same as a regular SL. We just looked at that yesterday. Little crack there. You can replace them if you're really picky, but they're in good shape. And a little one right there. And right there. And the same as any of the SLs. On the bumpers, they're in great shape, man. Just absolutely beautiful. But there's a bump right there. And like I got some dirt from the thing stuck on this. But you can see. And you can see it doesn't really wipe off much grease. This product I use, but a little dingage there, and there, and there. So three spots. Yeah, 05. SLC 350. Very nice car. I had one of these once with a um, a 350 in it, a Chevy motor. Pretty cool. This one, when you see under the hood though, it just needs to be fixed up. Uh, my buddy on Facebook, Johnny Carson, it's the kind of thing. And if we was closer, I'd be bugging the heck out of him. And then I'd paint this sucker, man. So the little dings there where I just pointed. Chippages and the paintages. Yes, sirages. Crow's feet marks, little splits or whatever in the paint right there. Trim, like again, beautiful though. I'm gonna come back down at this and show you from a different angle. Man, all these things have this, oh, it's got a screw in it, that's why. That hole, looks like it should come with a plug or something. But they don't. No, every one of them. Same thing, and look at the difference of the bumpers. That is an American bumper. Same hole, same lenses. Um, that front lens is not the same, is it? No. 
It's a two part. Well, it might be a one part. We'll look. But look at that bumper. And look at that bumper. It's obvious which one is cooler. Um, it might come in a one piece. I'm not sure. It's probably a two piece. But that's a different lens for sure. So, down this side, all looks good. Wheels look great. Hope you can see that. A little chip here. Yeah, the front was definitely painted. Um, there's paint on that little thing right there. A little corrosionary type uh, patina starting along the bottom of that door, but it's not all rusted out or nothing. It's in great shape. Look at this door panel. I'll show it tonight when there's uh, less sun. Okay, that is your once around, your twice around. You look at this beautiful car from the exterior. I can't think of anything else I should point out. I'm gonna go around it one more time. Like right now, I just seen this, which is kind of obvious. Um, this is probably just needs a little bit of fixing in here. And we'll look at the gap on that other side and see how it matches up. Uh, basically, you got a car that you could put the lights in, get run and drive around, have a nice little car. Yeah, the gapages on the the gapages on the hood are just a little bit different there. Need some adjustment or a new hood even. That'd be easy as well. Uh, pretty cool how it's the same parts as everything, but then lights and bumpers, they do make all the difference in the world. There's another one there. There's another one there. They'll both be coming up too. This one's probably on eBay at the same time. Okay, you're gonna need them two lenses, like I said. I think that's it, man. I've showed it. Look at these. Look at these wheel, wheel, wheel well arches or whatever. Whatever. Look at the metal in there, man. Beautiful. Still got the rubberized coating and everything. I can't knock with that hand. And this one was loose. Let me just show you. It's missing a clip. So it's loose. And this one has some corrosionary stuff starting. It can all be taken care of at the same time. Them little pegs they put in there are so common for doing that. And the other side window is the exact same as that. It needs the same thing. And I'll be showing you the interior here in a minute. Um, that is the exterior, the review. Look at over the top, man. It looks great. So, interior coming up. I'll put a link at the end of the video here. And also, I'll have them all. I do exterior, and then I do an interior. Then I do a test drive type thing. And then I loop them all together because um, I need one for the eBay that has everything. So, I don't know what form you'll be seeing it. Subscribe on YouTube. Check out my webpage, oneownercarguy.com, and call me up, Nathan, 406-546-8748. I'll make you a deal. We'll talk to you. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I'm back again to show the interior of this beautiful little car. And I'll tell you what, it's right at that time of the sunset. Look at that beautiful sunset, really and truly. So, here to do the interior review and I'm kind of in a dippy hole here a dippy hole so I'm gonna try and keep it a little straight here and we'll do a walk around at this time of day to where you can see the different shine and texture and whatever of the paint it's in great shape the car is overall really good shape it's not all rusted out or nothing it's strong sturdy all that good stuff um, I'll put a link in here to the exterior video you should definitely check that out beautiful and this is a great time of the day, like I say, to show, look at that. I took a picture of that earlier for Instagram. Add me on Instagram. It just looks cool because there's another one in the onset or the front of it there. Okay, so that's the car. 1978 Euro model. Mercedes Benz. 350 SLC. 59,000 original miles. I'm going to go around this thing real quick. Show you what I was talking about, about the paint, again in a different light. You can see the clear coat more, a little dust on it now. You can see right there. And up in here, going down the sides, you can see just how nice and straight it is. I do believe, oh, ding there, I didn't notice earlier. That's missing. We went over all this. Just wanted to show you a, a different light 
where you can see what you're dealing with. Like here, see there's dust on it from, just from sitting today. <laughs> Crazy. By the roads and all day long. Uh, checking in the paint. But I'm really here to show you the interior. And all that. Good looking car. So, and here's more clear coat. From like I say, I think they painted the front thing maybe. I don't know. Maybe the whole car. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Door panels are in just great shape. Hardly even clean this thing up. Some of the panels have hardly nowhere. Rugs are in good shape. A little bit of a stain there for uh, foot, you know, foot dirt type stuff. I haven't shampooed these carpets or anything. Um, I didn't even clean in here. That's just how it came. Little plastic pieces are in great shape. Except for that. And this piece right here. Yeah, cracking on the paint. Now here, about the seats. Euro model, so they come with the cloth interior, not the MB text. Really comfortable seats. Um, and it came off just right. Everything's still there. You could actually recover this and it'd be just fine. Still got the coconut husk or horsehair stuff. Uh, my body, my body guy, my interior guy could do the seats on this really nicely, really cheap. I would be interested in doing that for you. It needs the seats done and it needs a paint job. That's what it needs. Um, and then the fuel delivery thing. Look at this. Nowhere. 59,000 miles. That part's nice on this, but the back is a little... And you know, I've never noticed it leaking or anything. So I don't know if it has over time or what. Um... It's never, it's not musty smelling. Um, and as you can see right here, I hope it's not all leaky at all. Ooh, I'm glad I got back here so I can show you there is a hole up there. It's all in good shape, but there's a hole up there. No medical kit. No speakers in the back package tray. Um, you want speakers for it? I got all excited there or something. I can give you a sweet deal. Sweet deal. Um, pat, uh, speakers for the back of that. Depending on the brand, I'm a. I sell them, and I can get you a nice set of new speakers with a one-year, two-year warranty, high wattage. Um, between. 18 to 38 bucks depending on what you want. Now that made me think about fronts. There's none in the door. There might be one here somewhere. Maybe that's a speaker. I don't know. I'm not sure on this year. A couple cracks in the dash. A little small and they're not... I guess they're not off balance. Off risen. My hands are dirty. I'm sorry. Another couple cracks in there. This part's all good. Small cracks starting there. Get a cover for it. That's the best thing. Stereo's gone. You can make a deal on one of them too. Seriously, anywhere from um, 35 bucks to 75 bucks for a good deck. No clue what that is. Maybe you can see the box. Please comment. No. I don't know what it is. Some kind of a Hertz Abander or something. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, I don't have the battery in right now. We're on. Um, is that the speakers? It's loose. I think it is. And it's loose right there. But it's in good shape. Um, that door panel's good. Let's look at the trunk. Let me pop the hood here. These pockets are all good and not all cracked up. They are all the, <laughs> they are all they're cracked up to be, but they're not cracked up. Even though it's not a convertible, it's still got that plate there. Pretty cool. <laughs> sure is tight, tight car. Oh yeah, carpet's gone in this one. Foam's in good shape, and there's no spare in it. However, the holder is there. 
I don't know what that is. Could be for the antenna. Wow, there's an extra antenna. There's your jack and all that. Some linkage, I'm not too sure on that. Very good shape. Very clean, clean car. For sure. And depending on what you do here in California, um, it's only like two, three hundred bucks for the seats um, for each one, depending on what kind of material you get. And then the back could probably be about the same. So you get a good interior put in here pretty cheap. And besides doing the seats, that's what it needs. That's it. Um, six, seven, eight hundred bucks, nine hundred bucks in interior. Heck, maybe you got a closer place. Some people would just buy them, put them over the, wrap them, you know, if that makes any sense. Take all that stuff off and hog tie their own material on it. Did I show you the back? I don't know if I did or not. Let's do it anyways. Boom. I mean, I know I showed you from the other side. Okay, that's that. Under the hood. Okay, here we are under the hood. I guess they've changed that one to it. It says 500 SE right on it. Must be the same one. Um, it's clean. It's only got 59,000 miles on it. Um, there's a little ground wire here. But I'm not 100% sure where it goes to. Um, it is a project, but it is clean and nice and very nice and presentable for sure. I'm going to go ahead and get back inside. I've showed you all the interior and everything. Let's turn this bad boy on. just don't get fuel. A little slow on the back, but it's a worker. It's a worker. <laughs> and this one, the switch, I'm pretty sure is Well, there you go. The switch is bad. And it's going to be on both of them. In fact, it lifts up off here. And it's just that thing's out of... There we go. At least it's back in. Kind of. The switch is bad, for sure. Um, other than that... Windows, I mean... Uh, you know... It would probably work just fine. It didn't unsuck it, I guess you'd say. I think that seal has changed the way it is. You probably have to help it back. One owner car guy is not interested in taking it down right now. Small, small crack right there. And check out oneownercarguy.com. You'll see lots of pictures of it on there. I got done and I hit this button. I'll tell you what, it just hadn't been opened in years, and it works. You just gotta give it a little help. Hang on a sec. Going back forward. So once it catches, it's all good. It's gonna, it takes a couple little stabs there. Now it should go back up. Let's make sure it did that. Hi, it went back up. Hang on. There we go. And this right here, you'll have to work with a little bit to replace most likely at some point. It's not like the kind that go both ways. Uh, that's what she said. So there you go. It does work. Thanks for watching.
I'm going to clip this in somewhere. I don't know where. As a matter of fact, a second ago, I think it was stuck on there because it just popped up. I was standing there doing something else and I heard tunk and I knew that's what it was. It popped right up just like it should be. That's why it's all nice up there and everything. Hope you can still see it. That's worn. That's got a little bit of that on it. Or wrinkled, you know. You can see there. And, man, that's pretty much the interior. Oh yeah, this one, it's all good, but it's unraveling a little bit up in there. As that does. Let's do this again. And that's what it does. For sure. Um, okay. Console, here's that. That leans down a little too far. And they can fix the bolt in there when they do the adjustment on the, um, or the redoing of the seats. Oh, God, that closes nice. Okay, well, that's your motor. That's the whole deal. Thank you for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Can't beat that, can you? Well, there you go. Like I said, got all four on there like it should be. Um, beautiful car. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And if you need anything on this car, just let me know. I'd like to help you out. 406-546-8748. Lots of awesome Mercedes coming up. In fact, that 79 is coming up too. Hope I didn't pan too fast there. Okay, that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. CanSoup.com, TinyBeagles.com, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. All of them. We'll talk to you.